Right. In order to create your self introduction, what you're going to do is use the class self introduction uh, presentation, and you're going to end up adding some slides to it. But I want to go over what I'm looking for as far as format goes here. So when you open it up, you probably open up to this slide. The very second slide is the uh, instructions on what to do. So we want the self introduction, um, answer the question, why did you decide to take this course? Tell me about yourself, for example, things you like to do, places you like to go, hobbies, other interests. And um, sleeping is really not a hobby or an interest, so try to be a little bit more elaborative on, um, or elaborate on your life. Um, also, tell me about your family. Uh, you don't have to specifically name names or brothers or sisters, but you can talk about um, if there's any relatives that go to the school or people that uh, live in the area or where you're from as far as um, the area or if you moved into the area. So anything like that that's going to give me some information, some background on you and your family. Uh, please make sure that when you're adding items to your presentation to keep them professional. Um, so make sure that uh, whatever you're typing is, is something that you would be able to present in front of the classroom. Uh, also keep in mind when you're adding, deleting, um, putting things down on this presentation, if you modify anything, it records all the steps. Um, so please don't adjust any other student's content um, because it is recorded. And even if you just click on another slide and delete a picture, um, there's a, a presence, a way to go back and check that. So I'd appreciate if you only add and modify your own slides. So for example, um, how you would do the self-introduction. Uh, I created a slide. I have my name at the top there. And the first question, um, I chose it's basically to change it around a little bit for myself, but I chose to teach this course because I really enjoy technology education. I like working with my hands, building, doing things with technology, learning a lot of things that are new with technology. Um, include a picture of yourself. If you have a stock one, great. If you don't, take one with your phone, upload it. Um, include other graphics that might go along with your um, hobbies, interests, whatever it might be. And then even take some time to hyperlink. So what you can do here is, let's say that I want to hyperlink something like technology. I can highlight that word and I can actually hyperlink that out to website. So if I were to go out to a specific website, I don't know, on technology, Maybe I really like this website for whatever reason. So I could grab this URL. So I'm just copying this. And then I can go back here and I have technology highlighted. And I can hit Control K. And it allows me to paste that website there and hit apply. And then notice now that it changes the color. I can also do this to an image if I wanted to. So I could just select the image, hit Control K, and it allows me to paste a link there. All right. So for the first slide, um, you can split up. I would do it over two slides here. So split up over the three questions, all this stuff. Try to balance it. Do a really nice job with it. The next slide, I answered some other questions. I have a picture of some of my hobbies, a link that goes out to a YouTube video. Um, then I even linked websites for the school I graduated from and for this current school that we're at right here. So take some time and do a really nice job with this. Um, we are looking when we assess this that you're able to answer all three questions well and that your slides are done professionally, well-balanced, um, and something that you're able to present.